Hi, this is Allie and this is Instant Kitchen. I haven't been around for a while, but today I want to make for you a no-bake pumpkin pie. And it's very simple. The first thing you need is a pie crust that has already been made, that's made of graham crackers, and comes in this kind of packaging with a tin and the clear lid. You open up the graham cracker crust very carefully and you pull the little lip that comes up when you go to take off the lid or insert depending on how you want to look at it and it's all ready for the pie and you save this plastic insert because it becomes the lid when you're done with this pie the next thing you need are cans of pumpkin. And these are 15 ounce cans of pumpkin. You need one and a half cans of pumpkin. And you're going to take that and you're going to pour a whole can into a pot. And then you're going to pour half a can into the pot. And you'll save the rest of this half a can for another recipe. The next thing you need is some pumpkin pie spice and a teaspoon. You take and you put a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, it's pumpkin pie spice, not just pumpkin spice, into your mixture. You turn on the stove at a medium heat and you heat this pumpkin with stirring the spices all throughout it until it's done and you cook it like you would any other vegetable and you can tell when it's done it kind of gets a nice consistency then you go over here and you, while that's cooking and you get some graham crackers I have some graham crackers out. You take two, two graham crackers, and you place them into a quart bag. You take the quart bag with the graham crackers inside, sealed at the top, and you roll it with a rolling pin. When you're done rolling these crackers, you will come up with a fine graham cracker from crust, crusty crumbs, and you put those to the side. Your pumpkin is now heated and completely cooked. You take it off the stove, you put it onto a hot pad, and you put it into the refrigerator without the spoon, and you let it cool. And you use the hot pad so that you don't crack the glass in your refrigerator and you let it cool completely. Once it's cooled completely, you can go back to the counter or the stove, whichever you want, because your stove is cool at this point, and you get yourself an 18 ounce container of marshmallow fluff. And you open it up. And you take a spatula and you put in half the container of fluff into the pumpkin mixture. It can be very sticky. And I'm working with both a spatula and a spoon. Put the lid back on your fluff. You can use the rest for another recipe. Excuse me while I throw this away. And then you take the spatula or the spoon or both. 
is you want to mix all that pumpkin that's in the pot with the fluff that's in the pot and you want to mix it thoroughly. No need to move to a bowl because then you just have to wash a bowl. You can do it all at the same time. And you can use the spoon and the spatula to get the fluff mixed well. And you stir very fast. and your pumpkin changes to a lighter color. It takes a little bit of stirring to do this, but it's not hard to do. Anybody at any age, as long as you can use the stove, can do this. I'm using the spoon to get all the lumps out. to mix it thoroughly. It's almost ready. Now the fluff sweetens the pumpkin because the pumpkin isn't sweet to start with. And the fluff makes the pumpkin with the spice taste like a pumpkin pie. Once you have this mixture all mixed together, and I'm almost there, this is the longest part. Your pumpkin actually looks like a baked pumpkin pie in the pot at this point. mixture now that I've mixed it all up take your spatula and you pour the mixture into the pie crust smooth it out with the spatula inside the pie crust. And you get you can get almost all the pumpkin out of the pot with a spatula.
Don't want to miss the good part. See, I've got almost all the pumpkin mixture out of the pot. Then you smooth the mixture over the pie crust. With this spatula. And you want it to look nice. I'm taking my time to make it look nice. Then you take the graham cracker crumbs and you sprinkle with your hand, clean hand them over the top of the pie. You're not going to use all of them, you just want enough to make it look nice and to add a little flavor. You take what was the insert, put it on top of the pie, and pinch down the edge. And you have a no-bake pumpkin pie. You put it in the freezer and you let it freeze until it gets hard. And then you take it out of the freezer when you want to serve it and let it defrost just a little bit. And then you can cut it into pieces. And it's a really good way to start the fall. So I hope you enjoy this no-bake pumpkin pie. Thank you until I see you again.